ông cứ cho và ông nhìn thấy cả một tổ cái chấm đại ca để tiếp thị sản đại ca hay một nông đoàn bị ca chun từ xã về nhà ông tại chiết ông nhìn thấy tôm cá trên biển chun đầm đằng đào bục cồn xã thiên đại chun đại miên bầm nón đại nhặt rồi có bờ đằng chim chim một ông chun luôn nhìn thấy các bạn chỉ được thả ông chun luôn nhìn thấy sau đó là bốn mình tự tu nhặt ở với đời tu ti rồi nhát rưu biệt và đấng xôm đã tạm trọ đại xóm trọp xóm tạm bị thiên tây khăn nông này ông chú nông dùm rè bị xa mạnh khăn nông tổ lạc ca cao vụ chì và chìa kinh bật to từ ní ông bè thông bắt đầu vị trí ca chú nông từ xa bình nhau trái chiết đâm bầy là ông thư sẽ đầy thay anh xa đoàn thản bạc và to vì Thạ, về nhà chiến, tổng chơi nhỉ? Thạ, về nhà chiến, lô bật thiên, lô bật xây chạy cổng, chạy cổng, chạy cổng. Đã mình đang rộng lại nghĩ TCCP, chạy sở phẩm bấy cư chỉ sạch trái mô vì cổ chí mạng bằng những giấy nông kết sẵn kết thả nâng nông chí nam chất sở phẩm bấy cư chỉ sạch trái mô vì cổ chí mạng bằng những giấy nông kết sẵn kết thả nâng nông Ban chung một đoàn lạc chăm rùn này, phụ quất, phụ kê xoay rô chán, làm bây ai bỏ xong á, nẹ, chân tư chăm trong một lòng, không thường nào như thế. Sẽ mà chất nhau miên bằng bầy nẹ, sẽ mà chất lưu xa khi nhau miên bằng bầy nẹ, tôi bằng chất lập cho. Khi nhau nơi rút, nói xa tại khi nhau khai luôn thì phụ xa xì. Nước nông ca trong nông dùm rẻ cho nông dưỡng xôn xôn phí ở xôn phí cứ miên bắt cho phí lơ ông bơ bà lại bình xa ông bơ bà lại bình xa lơ chôn chiệt chám nâng chôn chiệt Việt Nam cái nông bà tài cảm bụi chí ông bơ bà lại bình xa cứ chiều bà tài cảm ông trả chiệt hôn ngô And these crimes are not, not have a hierarchy. There's no ranking of one being more serious than the other. Genocide has a very precise technical meaning law. And that is genocide are certain acts done with the intent to destroy in whole or in part an ethnic, racial, religious, or national groups. And those acts can be killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to the group, creating conditions of life that could lead to the destruction of the group, imposing measures to prevent births or transferring children. It's important in the definition to recall the words that it's in holy or in part and that it's required for genocide that the acts be directed against an ethnic, racial, religious, or national group. It cannot be a political group. It can't be an ethnic or economic, excuse me, an economic group. So for that reason, new people, bourgeois, uh, political opponents, these do not qualify as groups under the definition of genocide. Intellectuals do not qualify as a group under the definition of genocide. It's important to keep in mind, of course, in this case, the great majority of the victims, the great majority of the crimes that will be covered in this trial, were committed 
exactly against these groups of Khmer people because of their economic class, because they were classified as new people, because they were intellectuals, because they were perceived as potential political opponents of the regime. And all of these are covered in the accounts in which Q. Sampan and Nung Chia will face trial in this case, including, most importantly, crime exterminations. But in this case, the evidence will also prove each of the elements of genocide against the two groups, the Cham and the Vietnamese. The jurisprudence of the, in international law says that while it's not necessary that you kill everyone or even intend to kill everyone, it's necessary that there be an intent to destroy the group in whole or in part, and that this must be a substantial part. It must be a part that could affect the survival of the group. In the first, this represents a appeal judgment in the trial of General Kristich, the appeal chamber of the ICTY said you can look at three different factors, the absolute number of those killed, the relative number, in other words, what percentage of the group was killed, and also it's, it's important to look at the prominence of the individuals targeted, the group targeted. In paragraph 12 of that judgment, the appeal chamber said that the specific part of the group is emblematic of the overall group or is essential to its survival. That may support a finding that the part qualifies as substantial. In two other cases, Yellow Sitch, paragraph 82 of the judgment, trial judgment in Sikaritsa, in paragraph 65 of the defense motion to dismiss, specifically held that and recognized that targeting the leadership of the group that that can be an important means of proving that it was a substantial part of the group that was intended to be destroyed. So I said, when you're looking at genocide, to distinguish this specific intent that's needed from the motive, the intent must be to destroy the group. It doesn't matter if the motive is because I want to maintain power, because I believe in my political enemies. In Yelisich, paragraph 49, the chamber held the personal motive of the perpetrator of the crime of genocide may be, for example, political advantage or power. That does not include finding genocide. So, if the Cham or the Vietnamese were targeted, as they were in this case, because the accused and other senior leaders of the Khmerians viewed them as potential enemies, that certainly does not preclude a finding of genocide, because the evidence will show they intended to destroy them in whole or in part. One witness who testified, TCW 641, said in a statement, but I was told the Cham people were of a different race and had to be smashed that if we kept them, they would rebel against us sometime. Another witness, TCW 813, said, we were not allowed to obey Cham religion and to speak Cham language. Women were required to have a very short haircut. We were forced to have collective meals and to eat pork. No explanation was made for the rich. And those who refused such practices would be killed. So it's not a matter of religion. It's not a matter of religion. Critical that the intent was to destroy, to kill every single member of the group. As long as it was to destroy a substantial part, it would affect the survival. Professor Ben Kiernan, in his book, Table 4, the document is on our case file E3-1593, estimates that there were about a quarter of a million Cham at the start of the regime in, Dem in Democratic Republic of Chile, and about 90,000 
ហើយមានប្រមួលមើលអ្នកជនជាតិចាំប្រមួលមើលអ្នកត្រូវបានសម្រាប់ចោលដូច្នេះវាគិតជាភាពរត់ប្រហែលជាចិត្តសំជាង
cái bàn xu cho tôi nuôi tại mình là một chuyện vừa Yuan đại miền có đây được một con má hỏi giờ kia con cặt và Yuan nút What to do then? What to do with them? Whatever Ankar decides, please instruct him. We know that Ankar is very, very senior leadership of the Meru. How does that all seem to work? Can we do it? 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 Cadres had announced that if the father was in the midst, only the father would be taken away and killed. But if the mother was Vietnamese, they would take the mother and all the children and kill them because the children suck the milk of the mother. Similarly, TCW 95 said, "No one is left behind." Ban lực lượng hà khi nhìn ở nam nhận nơi run nút tê và sân bà cho bẹp con ảnh yuan và sân bà ở đây cho bẹp con ảnh yuan cứ kê vô cái đây tử và sân bà và pon cho bẹp con ảnh yuan cứ kê vô kèm và pon ảnh yuan cũng tồn tại. Chi sĩ đạo yu làm một đôi sai sai làm bốn lực lượng ngân công chức nam và pon làm một đôi chân làm bảy hai con lưu tầm lấy một nút sai. Hỏi nhóm khơi nhóm mai là hôm vô ở đồng bong một con đôi sai và hai mà mát vay tầm lạp chào. Kill them quickly so we can go and take a rest. As for the children, they were swung and beaten against the tree of a coconut tree. The trunk of a coconut tree. Mai cờ hóm ban sai hỏi phụ kế tới ban tầm lập. TCW 868678 Going back to Table Four of Kunin's book about the survival rates of various groups during the democratic campaign of the Kunin regime, you see that he estimates there were 10,000 Vietnamese in urban locations, 10,000 in locations in 1975, none of them survived the Kunin regime. None of them. ដូច្នេះបានដែលថាត្រូវទៅពីមើលគឺក្រោយពីរបបនោះគ្មានអំណាចនៅរស់នោះទេបាទ Xong bài cổ rộp mà cổ rộp của dương rộm thời này trong phù dương này. Xin chào các bạn. Lúc đó xây chạy cổ rộm cho đi cổ rộp. Genocide and all of the crimes my national co-prosecutor described. Nâng rất cam xây chết đài xã. Để nhà chết bàn đề vào đó. Ông cất cam đề hóa này ca chân như một tỷ lo tập hòa này cô này dù bài. These crimes were done systematically. Ông cất cam đề hóa này thua lại đòi chơi lạc nạc. Bởi đồ bọn mình mẹ đòi chọc chọc tài bởi nông tế. Mình mẹ ca chân vì bộ cơ mà nẹ mà nẹ nụ lao ý. These crimes were all. Ông cất cam đề hóa này. They may not have been the objective. The final objective that the Khmer Rouge were seeking. Ông cất cam đề hóa này. 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 ไดจองไกรคือจองทำรัฐมงคลมือจีบานในทางจองเอาเมียนปากเดียววัดกับเมียนกอไอบานเลื่อนเฮ้ยนั่งดำไปเดียวสามนายกับบ้านเลื่อ
who had the role of being the public face of the Khmer Rouge, but internationally and within Cambodia, Ms. Q. Sampa. But all of these crimes have and all of the policies of the Khmer Rouge have become is that in order to achieve their idea, their vision of the Cambodia that they saw, they were willing to do anything to sacrifice any individual and to commit any crime against those individuals. The individual did not matter as Nunchi himself is said. Watch your screen, please. Thank you. ຍັງຍົກຕາຄູນຈະມະນຸດໃສ່ສະນາຄລັບຮອບອານຄືຖ້າອີ່ນີ້ໃຫ້ອານຈິດຕະມູລະຕາຢູ່ບິນາຂ
แต่ทางก้อนเชียงประมงรอดในระบบขมายกระหอมเขาก้อนบานโจรุ่งจมูกขมายกระหอมที่สมาชิกขณะกรรมการนักนงชนะมาปอมประมงโดยเจ็ดสับประมุ้ยเราหดเราชนะมาปอมประมุ้ยโดยเจ็ดสับประมุ้ยก้อนบานเลือกลางฮะก้อนมันมีหนาหน้าก็มันได้นะเป็นมุ้ยนู่นก้อนที่ที่จมูกการชมอำเภอปลายสักก้อนบานตัวตัวสกอร์ปีตัวหนึ่งที่สำคัญเราบอกว่าเรูปเทียบเราบอกย่อมชูเราบอกย่อมลำนางปฏิกรรมดีเพราะฉะนั้นให้ขนมเนียนเจี๊ยบเทียนย่อมชื่อทางย่อมลำนางทำไมให้พลปอบเจี๊ยบเจี๊ยบเลี้ยงตัดสัญญาณเจี๊ยบเจี๊ยบมันจันหลบโดยฉะนั้นคือสำคัญคือเจี๊ยบของคนมันเนี่ยลำนาง And he told me that as president, I believe I represented all Khmers. I fulfilled my duties to the nation. Well, he certainly was acting as president. 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 Well, he ประจุจำนวนดอกดำบุญคือคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์บานโจรุ่มประจุดอกดำบุญดองต่อหายเสียไปสบุญเทียร์ยคีสมพงษ์ใช่วัดโจรุ่มจำนายนงการเลยหรอกบมนุษย์บาดเจ็บโดยฉะนั้นถ้าตาก้อนมันอายก้อนอายอย่างเยี่ยงไม่ถ้าก้อนมันบานโจรุ่มจำนายแต่มันจะนำมาความประมุดโดยเจตสภาพนุ่งหอยก้อนมันมีอำนาจหอยกลอยมกุฎก้อนมันบานโจรุ่มจำนายตาก้อนมันจำนายอย่างไม่กลายเป็นขมายสองพ่อมมีการอำนาจคือเกี่ยวกับพ่อมมีอำนาจในขนมกระดองขนมชนะมาปอมประมุ่ยโดยเจ็ดสับประมุ่ยกวาดเกี่ยวกับมาเจ็ดเป็นสุดในขณะมาเฉิมชนะมาปอมประมุ่ยโดยเจ็ดสับประมุ่ยกวาดบานจุ่มนู่นโรดอมเซียนุจีประมุ่ยตลอดบานในทางจีขณะปฏิญาตในระบอบการบัญชีปฏิญาตทับปานยังดังหาในขนมชนะมาปอมบอลบอลโดยเจ็ดสับสลัมปีกลอยจับเดือนเคียวสะพอนบานคลายเจียสมาจักตายมันเนี่ยก็ในขนมมันตีปรำใบรอยเจ็ดแต่เจียมันตีนี่เจียจะใส่จะโซ่งระบาดปะเราเจียมันตีสำหรับสำรวจนงการจับรุ่นจงร้อยจะนั่งสำหรับเจ้าระบายก้าบานมองหายสำหรับหายบานมองหายทางเกี่ยวกับพอนทเวอร์สเตนส์บอดเตสเนียมตือกามาปิบาก็อดบานจูเกียมวยนังแกะดิจิตูนังรอดจิตูก็อดองนางกามาจีนเออบอดเตสก็ทัวร์การเงินเอาไว้ในทัวร์จิตสาธิตนั่นเองแล้วไปไหนก็อุตสนิยมคลายสอนตรักท่าหนองเนียมเจียประมงหลอดกามาเจียประเจียทับไตเอาไว้ได้ก็ทัวร์นู้กือก็พูดโพนังเล็บบังเป็นคำในระบบนี้เราสนใจเมื่อสนใจกันแค่ไงที่ดอกปรำปีใครมีสายจะทำจะปรำไหมไอ้กระซานน้อบานเคยมีเนี่ยโจรุ่มปีเมื่อเนี่ยนึกน้องเจี๋ยนุ่มบานเลือดหลายเยอะบานสมไรน้องแพนกาบอกว่าบางคนตอนกอดบานเลือดหลายเมื่อสนใจกันแค่น้ำสังเกตุว่าเยอะบางเป็นเทียบจำใบระบาดเจ็บปวดหัวหายตาก็ยังไม่จำเป็นปัจจัยจุดดัดสลับดัดสลับว่าน้ำสังเกตุในการถ่ายตัวมันจะสานิปัจจัยจุดระบาดเยอะคือเรียกจะมีในการวิวัฒน์ระบาดสมองเทียบนี่ก็มาเลยลายเนี่ยนงเปได้เจียจุดเจียจราดโรนเตียสเทียบหายกำปงแต่เจียเยี่ยมดังใบรู้นู้ตาก็ทั่วอย่างไม่ใช่อย่างไม่ตรงกันอันดับเชียดคือการแหลบบ้องแหลบแหลบบ้องระบาดโดยเฉพาะยังคืนหาเยื่อดังไฮท่าเครื่องสมบูรณ์กอดบานเลือกล่างท่าอันเป็นจำนวนจังอันนี้สหประชาชาติเรียกบานเลือกบานจำน
ជាចំភៀរហ៊ីក្លេតីការប្រធានក្នុងបរិបាលពិសាសន៍ a PhD speaks foreign languages, fully a ពីបញ្ញាជនបាននិយាយពីសាបរទេសហើយនិស្សិតនិខាយប្របត់ Eat regularly whole pot. Frequently, would join the ambassadors. He managed the king. He knew the king was being detained. He separated from his family. But he claims he didn't know anything about the crime until 1997. The executions were all pots on the well, how would Q Sampan know that the executions were put on pots at all? He claims he didn't know anything about it. How does he know that the orders came from the Pol Pot? He knows because he and Pol Pot are not talking about it. Because they discussed these orders and these executions in the meeting in the standing committee meeting. He knows that the executions were put on pots at all. He knows because he and Pol Pot are not talking about it. He told the investigating judge of this court that I observed that some members of the court or the scope of the arrest. But let's think about that statement he made. He said he's aware of the members, the high leaders of the Khmer Rouge from the Central Committee and Standing Committee removed, and then everyone, in other words, the remaining members, seemed to prove. Well, that is true. Clearly implies that Chusampan himself bore no objection to these arrests. That he was one of those who seemed to approve of the arrests. Even Chusampan's own subordinate in Office 87 was arrested and then tortured by the police. He was one of those who seemed to approve of the arrests. Nunchia, when he was brought that interview, that confession, he by Doik, he warned Doik not to collect any more information or record any more information implicating Kusampan. Of course, Nunchia regularly ate with Kusampan, lived near him, worked with him, was told Kusampan about. S21 and Doi, the fact that he himself had even been named in the torture. Kobandeng dai thai khlun ai khi som phong khlun ai ter ban ke choi da nang khlun jim loi sa de phiep ke kwat ban deng. There's another strategy. Mien yot ke sa muoi tiet dai khi som phong nang khlun chie ban prap prap. And it's certainly not the first time in my career as a prosecutor that I've seen that. Very common. That is where the criminals have remained to blame the dead man. So in this case, both Chief Sun Pan and Chief Sun Pan and Chief Sun Pan and Chief Sun Pan so
ពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតគឺពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតជាអ្នកពលពតជាអ្នកពលពត
So we've already heard that these killings were discussed in the standing committee. Do some part of it in that. And no one here says that he never had any disagreement or any disagreement with Paul Pot. Now, the fact that the Supreme Court has decided to ហើយជាថ្មីមិត្តទៀតវាមិនមែនជារឿងរបស់យើងដល់ថាលទ្ធិខ្មែរកោះអីវិញដែរអាន្ទឹមតកសម្បត្តិសាស្ត្រជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជាជ
Kyusampan and Nunchia, the central senior leadership, did they care about the fact that ordinary people were being killed in villages for things like eating a banana and falling on the ground? They didn't care. Listen to the words of Nunchia. อันนี้บางอย่างชาวอินเทอร์เน็ตไปที่ก็น่าจะบางอย่างต้องปวดเนาะบางอย่างเงียบมารูวิ่งมันก็ยากเหมือนกันอันนี้เรื่องสวามิ
ដូច្នេះហើយវាជាការមិនត្រឹមត្រូវហើយ But these killings were not done in battles. Those arrested and killed he admits to, these are generally their own soldiers, including some of the best fighters that the And those stabbed and tortured and killed were ordinary Cambodians in the millions. So how did this protect Cambodia? Nunchia wants you to believe that those targeting were all enemies. S21 we know about 12 to 16,000 were killed. These are, look at your screens, these are some of the photos of the enemies that the Patriot Q Sampan, excuse me, and Nunchia had killed at S21. Look at the pictures of the enemies that the Patriot Q Sampan How does killing children protect Cambodia? What's the truth about the democratic Kampuchea? The truth is what they did to Cambodia is they starved and weakened the people. They shrank the population by about a quarter. They destroyed the economy. They killed the most educated, the bravest of the Cambodians. They only weakened the country. And Cambodia is still suffering today from the effects of their regime. So who were these killings really designed to protect? In one statement that Nunchia wrote to the Danish Communist Party in July 1978, he wrote, the leadership must be defended at any cost. There can be no comparison between losing two or three leading cadre and 200 or 300 members. Better the latter than the former. So he says, again, what he's wanting to protect is himself. The very senior leaders, they don't care if hundreds die, as long as they survive and have power. When the Vietnamese army was approaching Phnom Penh in 1979, the Kusampan and Nunchia pick up a gun, go to the front line, and fight. No, they fled to the border, but not before Nunchia ordered Doik to kill. All the remaining prisoners in S21. These two men, Kusampan and Nunchia, are not patriots. Many people I know in Cambodia are hoping that they will hear an apology and a truth from these accused. I don't believe that they will hear that, but I do promise that we will show by the evidence the truth about what happened and that these two men, Kusampan and Nunchia, were among the most powerful figures in the senior leadership of the Khmer Rouge that was responsible for three years, eight months, 
บ่าเอลนี่ดอลเปิลซอมสรอบนึงสําหรับสําหรับថ្ងៃ <coughs> នៅរសៀលនេះហើយបានមុនមងមួយ